what's up everybody welcome to my channel and today's in this video i'm gonna show you how you can improve your pc performance for the fortnite chapter 4 with your any low-end pc or laptop so guys welcome to my channel and if this is your first time here so please make sure to drop a like on this video subscribe to my channel and also make sure to watch this whole video so let's start it so guys in the first step you have to download this optimizer on your pc link available down in the description you have to open up the link that will take you onto my this website and there you will find out the same article with the same thumbnail of this video which is the get 240 fps using the best tool in fortnite chapter 4 you can find out it also in the recent post section or simply go into the uh, fortnite tab and there you will find out the same article you have to open up this article scroll down click on this download button and download the software from the media file once you download this file on your pc you have to double tap and open up this application it will automatically download all of stuff on your pc and create a folder on your desktop once you open up this uh, application so here it will create the optimizer download folder on your desktop and now you have to follow exactly everything which i'm going to show you that will help you to improve in your pc performance so guys here into this optimizer first of all you have to go into the general tab and here under the system uh, tab you have to enable all of the settings which is the optimized performance for optimizing your pc performance then your optimized network Disable error reporting. This is some additional features of your window which no one utilizes. So therefore, we have to disable error reporting. Disable compatibility assistant. Disable print service and disable fax service. You have to disable all of the settings. Then here we got our disable sticky keys. Also turn on. And here is the disable smart screen. Also turn it on. Once you're done, now here is our uh, disk drive. You can check it out here. You have to disable the super fetch. Then disable the hibernation and once you're done now you need to simply leave all of these options which is the app section and the telemetry for your google chrome for your mozilla firefox for your nvidia you have to leave all of the settings now go for your next tab whatever window you are using windows 10 or windows 11 you will find out here same settings so first here into the system tab you have to follow exactly same thing so in the first step you have to uninstall one drive from your pc so simply click onto this enable button and here you want to uh, uninstall OneDrive so click yes and now you need to go for the next then here we got our windows update so here is the disable automatic window update turn on the settings disable feature update and disable inside the service you have to leave all of this option then here you will find out some taskbar settings i will not suggest to do anything so simply leave all of this settings then here is some important settings which will also help you to improve in your performance for the gaming which is the privacy so Disable telemetry services and disable the Cortana and disable the start menu ads. You have to disable all the settings. Then here is our next gaming tab. You have to enable the game mode, disable Xbox Live and disable game bar. Once you're done, now here is the touch. You have to now disable all of the settings. And once you're done, now you need to go for the next tab. Here you will find out all of the application which you can uninstall unwanted application. You can simply uninstall all of this application if you are not using it on your PC. But I will not suggest you to do anything with the Microsoft services. Just simply delete those applications which you are not using. So now, once you done with the settings, now you have to go for the startup. Turn off all of the startup application for making your PC boot up fast. Then here is the app section. You can install any app for free from this optimizer. Then here is the cleaner. And you can also clean the temporary file, error report, empty your recycle bin. And here is some Chrome. Zilla Firefox, Edge, Brave and other so you have to a check mark onto this option which is the temporary files, error reports and empty recycle bin. Now go for this clean option, click here and here it will clean all these temporary files from your PC. So once you're done, now you need to go for the next option which is the pinger, just simply leave it as it is. Now here you need to go into the registry settings and here is the fix common registry issues. So you have to enable all and click onto the fix button and it will fix all the problem if, if you have into the registry of your windows and it will also make your windows more faster now you have to one time restart your pc because once you restart it so all the changes will take effect but guys before restarting your pc i'm gonna show you some other settings for your windows or for the fortnite for improving your pc performance so you have to go into your file explorer and go into the drive where you install your fortnite so go into the local link c or drive where you install it go for the program file epic games folder Fortnite, Fortnite game folder, binary, Win64, 
and you have to scroll down and here is our fortnite xv file you need to go into the properties go for the compatibility and check mark onto this box which is the disable full screen optimization then go into the change high dpi and also check mark onto the override high dpi scaling behavior click ok hit apply and click ok and do the same settings for all these four xv file of the fortnite once you do the settings now you have to go into the battle eye option and here you will find out uninstall battle eye dot bat file because a lot of people complaining and they are saying once they uninstall the battle eye they are getting better fps and stable fps in the fortnite so therefore you have to also uninstall the battle eye click ok and now restart your pc and then launch your fortnite and you will get insane performance out of your pc i hope so you love it so please make sure to subscribe drop a like on this video and till at the next video peace out